Now with Drew Reeves and things are about to get wet out there. Yeah, that's right. We've got just a few more hours here of this dry weather, so hopefully uh, you're having a nice dinner out there. It's looking beautiful out over Portland right now. 57 degrees on our Shriners Hospital camera tonight. Uh, again, uh, pretty mild out there, just about 50 degrees here in the Portland area. Some spots might get down into those mid to upper 40s, uh, but very mild temperatures for us, but those showers do move in late tonight and we are going to be seeing those overnight into tomorrow morning. So here's the big picture. We have a very active and wet weather pattern uh, in our seven day forecast. It's going to bring likely several inches of precipitation here to the metro area. Starts tomorrow with the light showers and breezy conditions. Again, tomorrow pretty light showers, uh, not a whole lot of wet weather there, but we'll be seeing less of those showers and less of the wind breezes as we go into the afternoon. And then Thursday, we start the day out dry, but then by midday, uh, once we get into the evening commute or so, it's looking like things are turning wet once again. So here's what we're expecting for tomorrow. Rain showers along the coast in fairly windy conditions. Wind gusts will be uh, between 30 to 40 miles per hour. Temperatures likely into the lower 60s. We'll also be into the lower 60s here in the valleys, about 62 degrees in Portland. We're also expecting rain showers, of course, but uh, breezy conditions as well. Wind gusts around 30 miles per hour. Again, both of those dying down as we get into the later afternoon, early evening. Columbia Gorge is going to be cloudy with rain showers. Also temperatures into the lower 60s, upper 50s. Mount Hood, rain and snow showers. The snow level about 6,500 feet. Uh, so being seeing snow above that, obviously. Uh, Timberline 42 degrees, 54 degrees at Welch's. And then into eastern Oregon, it's looking like the showers will come early and then much less of a chance uh, after morning or so temperatures into the mid six or excuse me into the mid to upper 50s a couple spots into the lower 60s about 67 degrees at Pendleton though uh, here's a look at the breezier conditions that we're expecting you can see kind of as we get into early morning that's when we'll start to see those winds picking up uh, along the coast especially uh, into the 30 to 40 mile per hour range with those wind gusts and then hours picking up a little bit later morning uh, around 10 a.m. or so and then dying down as we get into the afternoon as we go to Thursday morning, you can see a lot of really, really windy conditions with the storm offshore, but not totally impacting uh, the coast. The coast just still seeing those kind of 20 to 30 mile per hour wind breezes there. So definitely wind gusts that we are used to along the coast. Uh, but we have this wet weather that is staying with us uh, the next couple of days, the warmer days in the forecast into those lower to mid 60s. And then we are back into the 50s for the rest of the seven day forecast. Expect showers on Friday and then Saturday. Definitely looking like a wet day. Also the coolest day in that seven day forecast showers on Sunday as well and Monday. And then it's looking like we're going to be getting a pretty rainy day uh, on Tuesday again by the time all of this is said and done, we could be seeing three to four inches of precipitation here in the metro area. So a very active and rainy seven day forecast. We'll have more news right after the break.